one of the things I do the most when I'm laying down a track or playing live is either adjust sliders or adjust knobs in the middle of a performance. It's the way I sort of interject myself into this piece of music that someone's listening to. And one of the easiest ways to do that is through a 5U system. The size and the scale just sort of lends itself to that. Uh, I'm going to start this series limiting myself to modules only found in the Box 11 compact system. If you have that system, you won't need any additional modules to do this. What I'm going to do is take advantage of the ladder filter's two control voltage inputs to modulate the filter. I'm going to then create two distinct filter shapes with both of the uh, envelopes. This is going to allow us to play uh, and mix those two distinct shapes throughout the performance. I'm going to start with a very basic synth patch. Our computer is spitting out an arpeggiation just so we have something to hear. That's going into the MIDI to CV converter. The gates are going into a multiple and then each of the two envelope generators. Our control voltage is going into the one volt per octave of our oscillator. And I'm using a pulse wave for this and my width is about four. That's going into our ladder filter, out of the ladder filter, into the VCA. And then we have two envelopes. The first envelope is controlling the filter. And the second envelope is controlling the VCA. It's a very straightforward basic synth setup. Using the multiples, we're going to allow envelope 2 to not only control the VCA, but also control the second CV input modulating our filter on the VCF. First plug the envelope that controls your VCA into a multiple. From the multiple, plug it back into the VCA. Now we have exactly the same sound we started with. Finally, from the multiple, Plug it into the control voltage 2 of your ladder filter. Envelope 1, a tight pluck, is still going directly into the control voltage input of the VCF. But now through the patch, envelope 2 is also going into the filter. Turning it up, we'll introduce an open filter. This also lets us blend the two. What I like about this patch is it allows me to establish very precise guardrails. I can have a pluck sound I really like and an open sound I really like. Obviously the easiest way to do this whole thing is just reach up and open and close your filter. The problem with that is you can go too closed or too open. With this patch, I can always get back to this starting point and blend the open as much as I want, depending on where the music takes me. And one of the added benefits is I can leave the open sound fully open, but also introduce some attack to that sound. No attack. Attack. So it's a very versatile patch, especially if you're trying to throw it into some pop music. In the spirit of pushing your modules as far as they can go, I'm going to offer one patch variation. Take envelope one and plug it into the one volt per octave of your filter. Now patch velocity from your CV to MIDI module into control voltage one. Turn down the filter frequency a little bit. And now you've introduced velocity to the filter as well as the ability to mix an open filter and a closed filter. Now obviously with this method you're always going to have attack at full strength, but it does give you enough variation in the filter with the velocity to make it interesting. Some of you may be using filters that only have one control voltage input. If that's the case, I would suggest expanding your system with a four channel mixer. This mixer will not only allow you to combine the signals from oscillators, it will also allow you to mix control voltages. Take the output of envelope one and plug it into input one of your mixer. I've already patched envelope two into input two. 
And from the MIDI interface, I'm gonna plug velocity into three. And from the output of the mixer, we're gonna to go to control voltage input of the filter. And like before, envelope two, now input two, is gonna open the filter. 